Hey guys, I have a very special treat for you today. I have rewritten the entire graphics library for Gats.io. It's still a work in progress, but take a look at what I have so far. So <laughs> obviously no text is being displayed to the screen and I think the colors are off uh, a little bit. Actually, I'm, the colors look fine. Um, the, the thing that's broken is opacity, so nothing can be translucent. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess the the experience bar is kind of off, and so it's, it, it also no graphics will display. So the, you know the images of the upgrades and stuff like that will not appear. Um, but otherwise, it's actually coming along quite well, and I've made a lot of progress for this. Now, for those of you who watched my previous live stream, um, you might know what I'm trying to do, which is to build a community update for this game that fixes a lot of the bugs that Gats has uh, built into it. So I've made actually quite a bit of progress since doing my live stream. I, I built a tool that will decompile the uh, Gats.io source code and put it into code that's readable by a human. And uh, I've been leveraging that to push updates to the game. And mostly I'm focusing on things like input updates to fix some of the input bugs. And then I started saying, hey, you know, if I can fix the input bugs, maybe I can fix some of the lag issues. Um, and I found some major inefficiencies in the code. I mean, maybe it's a little too technical for this channel to really talk about that here, but to summarize, basically they had like these giant chunks of code, hundreds and hundreds of lines of code that had to be redefined every single animation frame, which is a really inefficient thing to do in JavaScript. And again, I don't want to get too technical about it, but basically I, I resolved all of those issues. And I was thinking, okay, you know, while I'm at it, right, I might as well take a look at how the graphics are being drawn to screen. Now, uh, HTML5 supports something called Canvas, and this is really an HTML5 Canvas game. And the way that it works is a Canvas is an element that you draw on your web page that allows you to draw graphics like circles, squares, and, uh, and, and basic shapes like that. But here's the thing about Canvas, everything gets rendered on your CPU, and your CPU has very limited processing time. Um, it's not built necessarily for processing graphics. And so that may be why the game is laggy for certain people is because all the graphics are being done at the CPU level. And for anyone who knows anything about computers, normally you wanna do all of your graphics on the graphics card. I'll show you a quick sample of this in action. This is a library called Pixie.js, which leverages the WebGL canvas. And here I'm just dumping tons and tons of objects onto the screen. And you can see that the frame rate is still floating around 60 frames per second. Not only does it have to render tens of thousands of sprites, but it also has to do the physics for all these sprites, which I think the physics is actually done on the graphics card as well in this case. But there it is, over 100,000 objects on the screen and rendering at 60 frames per second. And so that's what you're looking at right here. I've basically rewritten the entire graphics library from the ground up to re-render everything on the graphics card. Not only is this gonna be faster because it uses the graphics card, which is designed to handle those types of graphics, but it's also gonna be faster because it frees up CPU time to be used by the game itself. Now there's no guarantees that I'll actually be able to pull this off. There are still a lot of challenges that lie ahead. And this is a rather time consuming project and uh, you know, my time is limited. But if I am able to succeed with this, it will run much faster and much more smoothly than the existing game. And you know, I'm not entirely sure, but I suppose that it may be possible to also release this same patch for takepoint.io if anyone's a player of takepoint. I'm not sure, I'd still have to reverse engineer takepoint and create a browser extension for that, which again is gonna be like a huge hurdle. But, you know, it's, it's feasible. But the only way that I'm going to be updating any other games is if this patch takes off and gets downloaded a sufficient number of times. One thing worth mentioning is that I have already contacted the developer of this game and told him about a lot of the bugs and inefficiencies I found in the code and offered a lot of suggestions for him. And I've also offered some of my consulting services to the dev team in order to fix this game up. I was told that the game doesn't really generate enough revenue to justify bringing on a consultant and that the lead developer who put most of the code together wasn't really familiar with JavaScript when he was building this. Apparently he was just learning, which I kind of pieced together. So I'll just be releasing this as an unofficial community patch. A lot of you guys have been asking what I'm going to include in my browser extension. I'll shed a little bit of light on that. I'm gonna be releasing two extensions. One is gonna be a basic extension and one is gonna be a premium. The basic extension is going to have pretty much everything in it. 
it's going to have the bug fixes, the latency code optimizations. It's going to have the, the graphics fixes. If I'm able to implement that, it'll fix all of the game's input issues. It'll add accessibility. And then the premium version will have all of that stuff. Plus you'll be able to taunt and like, um, I don't know, like record stats, even when you had like an ad blocker. So, you know, nothing like that's a must have feature, but if you want to show your appreciation for the work I've put into this, then, uh, you know, consider buying the premium version to support future projects like this. I'll make it super cheap. I personally would have preferred to just release everything for free, but like, it's not like I have a lot of Patreons or anything like that. And this is the only way that I can personally afford to continue working on projects like this. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, slam that like button and share this shit with your friends.